So, this is the Ant-Man channel. It's Tuesday the 23rd of July, 2013. Excuse me, I'm just a little slow right now. Boys in the Hoodies. This is from WND.com under the column of Politics. And this is by Joe Kovacs. Not my favorite author on this website, but he still always ma manages to get me to look at his articles. After acquittal, he comes out of whole of a uh, hiding in dramatic fashion. So Zimmerman to the rescue. George saves family of four. And there's a video here if you want to go check it out. It's on WND.com. WND.com under politics. Zimmerman to the rescue. George saves family of four. So there's a video here. It looks like it's from Fox News. And then he's probably talking about... It says rescues crash victim in first public appearance since acquittal. Wow. So I guess he took this whole, you know, media thing very seriously and he's trying to do good. You know what I mean? He's not trying to make himself look like a... I don't know, man. I would feel bad for the... I would be like, this is bull if I was George Zimmerman because I'd be like, the government is straight using me to push race... like, to push racism. I'd be like, this is unbelievable. If I were him, I'd be... I wouldn't be honored by that, but I would feel like I have a tremendous responsibility to make good on my image because of that. Because the government straight up took a crap on this guy's image and, and drug it through the gutters and through, and then, you know, they really did. They really did, you know, they don't need to do all that. They didn't need to have Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Obama coming out and, you know, acting like typical, you know, racists. That's all I'm going to say. Despite being in hiding since his acquittal and the death of Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman has now emerged to help rescue a family of four trapped in an overturned vehicle. This is unbelievable. The incident took place last Wednesday at the intersection of I-4 and Route 417 in San Flo uh, St uh, Sanford, Florida, less than a mile from where Zimmerman shot Martin. According to CBS Tampa, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office said, the family was driving in a Ford Explorer SUV when it went off the road and rolled over. A responding deputy reported that when he arrived, Zimmerman and another man helped the two parents and two children out of the vehicle. By the time a deputy arrived, Zimmerman and another man had already helped assist family by getting them out of the overturned vehicle, Sheriff's spokeswoman Heather Smith told the Orlando Sentinel. Zimmerman was not a witness to the crash and left after making contact with the deputy. Smith said... In an, in an emailed statement, there were no report of injuries to the vehicle occupants. Sanford Police Captain Jim McAuliffe told Fox News that Zimmerman 29 was identified by a crash victim as the man who pulled him from the mangled vehicle last week. George Zimmerman pulled out, or he pulled me out. Fi uh, firefighters were told by the un unidentified driver, according to McAuliffe, McAuliffe told ABC News that Zimmerman pulled an individual from a truck that had rolled over. So late Monday afternoon, WND obtained the sheriff's accident report identifying the adults in the flipped vehicle as a white, as a, yeah, a white couple. The driver is Mark C. Gerstel, a native of Buffalo, New York, and the woman is Dana uh, Michelle Gerstel, a native of Daytona Beach, Florida. Hmm. They're a white couple with the same last name, but they don't live together? Huh. Oh, they're natives of that. Never mind. Yeah, I told you I'm a little slow right now. I don't know why. I got up early. I didn't go to sleep late. I went to sleep late. I got up early, I guess. So that's why, I guess. The sheriff's office notes the driver and passenger have expressed they are not interested in speaking with the media about this incident. Obviously, there were strong racial undertones throughout the case as Zimmerman was accused of essentially pro uh, profiling Trayvon before shooting him to death, said Orlando Sentinel reporter Jeff Weiner. I guess. Regarding details of the accident, the sheriff's office... What's up with the... I mean, I... First, there's... You know... Never mind. I'm not even going to get into this. Regarding details of the accident, the sheriff's office says the 2004, uh, 2004 Ford Explorer SUV was traveling northbound on the off-ramp of State Road four, uh, 17 at State Road 400. Mark Gerstel then lost control of the vehicle, causing it to go off-road and roll over. The tires and brakes were not worn, and we're in were not an influence in the accident. The vehicle did, um, also did not have any airbag deployment. No photos of the vehicle are available. So the rescue is the first known public sighting of Zimmerman since the jury found him not guilty of murder and the death of Trayvon Martin. Radio host Rush Limbaugh asked Monday, 
How long will it be before the left claims the whole accident was scripted? The Zimmerman haters will say this whole thing is staged, probably rehearsed. This was a setup for Zimmerman, uh, setup so Zimmerman could look good. <laughs> you know, it's funny, and, and this is kind of a like a weak comparison, but because I'm talking about a sport compared to a real life event, this is a real life event. And when Anderson Silva got knocked out by uh, Chris Weidman. People started making excuses for Anderson Silva and saying that he let him do that. So you're going to let somebody give you a concussion because you want to prove that you're better than him? I mean, wow. And I even heard some people make some racist comments about that too, man. I mean, I don't know, man. I like, I like all black people, man. But, you know, I see a lot of cocky, you know, they think they're better than everyone, black people out there. And it's just like, dude... Just because, you know, I don't know, man. I know there's a lot of intelligent ones out there, and you guys must be really annoyed by the ones that get race-baited into all this Trayvon Martin stuff. My friend has a neighbor that, if he's watching the news and Trayvon's on there, he start yelling so loud you can hear him from next door. And and that's the effect that this really has on, on, on real-life people. This isn't, just a, this isn't just a piece of news that, I don't know, like, this is real life, man. I can't explain it better than that. Like, there are people that I know that, have been almost jumped because of this stuff and it's kind of weird because I live in California and and uh, in the, you know I, I wouldn't think it would reach that far I guess but I don't know it's crazy it really, it really is how much this influences people while some political observers have said uh, President Obama has more in common with Zimmerman than Trayvon Martin Limbaugh quipped I don't know that Obama has ever rescued a family from an overturned truck <laughs> Uh, Zimmerman, 29, shot and killed Martin, 17, in Sanford, Florida, on February 26, 2012. The jury determined that Zimmerman shot Martin in self-defense. The verdict prompted dozens of protests across America this past weekend, and his lawyers have said Zimmerman has received numerous death threats, prompting him to wear a bulletproof vest when he goes out in public. At least one protest in Houston has been in favor of Zimmerman. So Zimmerman's parents told ABC News that they too have received death threats and have been unable to return to their home. We have had an enormous amount of death threats. George's legal counsel has had death threats. The, chief pol the police chief of Sanford, many people have, uh, have had death threats. Zimmerman's father, Robert Zimmerman, said, Everyone with George's DNA should be killed. Every, just every kind of horrible thing you can imagine. Yep. You know... In the words of Joseph Stalin, boy, you know, useful idiots, man. There's a lot of useful idiots out there because you believe anything you hear if you're just, if all you, I guess if that's all you know is the, you know, the mainstream media, then, then you probably will believe anything and you'll get dragged into, uh, this, these aren't even real politics when you think about it. This is a distraction. This is a distraction. I wish I could have that. I didn't have. I lost this article I had in front of me, but it's about. Uh, it said Zimmerman changed his name to Benghazi so that the White House would leave him alone, and Barack Obama won't want to mention him anymore. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I'm just saying. I read that on uh, Cash Daily, and I already put that. I don't even know where that article is anymore. I put it away, but I was laughing. I don't even know. That'd be funny if it were true, but it doesn't sound true. Probably the joke, but. Um, Anyways, you guys, find out what's really true. Don't just listen to people on the news that look good because they have, like, you know, $1,000 suits on and read from a teleprompter. Don't believe that you, everything you hear is the truth. Don't even believe that I'm telling you the truth. Go find stuff out for yourself, you know. But if you like my channel, it's the Ant-Man channel, and you can subscribe. You can come back. I post news often, and I break down stuff. I'm, you know, uh, I do my science and history, man. I, I don't know, man. I have a... You know, I just like to read. Ever since I read my Bible, I just, I don't know why, I just read a lot now. I just try to read more than I do anything else because it's more productive. You know, you would think, like, you would learn a lot from other things, but a lot of other things are very counterproductive. You know, TV is, is it's scientifically proven that it slows down your brain if you watch a lot of TV. You know what I mean? Like, man, I saw, if you guys have seen State of Mind by, uh, I forgot, I don't know who made this movie, State of Mind. But it just came out, and it's about like how MK Ultra did all these like mind control experiments on people, and tortured people, dude. That's like the creepiest thing I've ever heard, and I never knew about this stuff either. But go watch that movie, State of Mind, and you'll see how 
controlled the media is. It's so, it's so weird, man, when you can, when you see it for what it is. When I was a little kid, dude, it was just the show keep, the show never ends, you know, it's the show just going on and on, perpetual, perpetual show going on all the time. But when you see it from the outside and what the people, the people who engineered and developed all these types of like, you know, like the TV and like the way that it's, the way that it's worked and stuff like that, like the way that they engineered it, it's pretty damn creepy. But anyways, God bless you guys. Have a good day.